Pretty sure they turned your great spot into a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team, huh? Huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. Know anything about any bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, I don't know, uh, samurai stuff? You're not like really peasant. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing this shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him. You can find him You're living back in the like 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. What's he selling? Organic strawberries and cream. What do you think? He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Cream. Thanks. I can get some decent tunes here. What do you mean by decent? We got Cartesian Duelist, Urdine stuff, Tainted Overlord. You mean Samurai? <laughs> Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. I see I found Silverhand's biggest fan. And proud of it. Today's bitty box rockers can't even touch him. Silverhand had something they couldn't eat. Uh, a Silverhand? He had that fire, kid. Fire! The guy shook the foundations of the corporal world. He died for his ideals. Doesn't matter, he was also kind of a terrorist. Blaze way down the rebel path. I'm looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gates. Fuck. First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. I'm not gonna give them to the first gonk off the street. Hey, I ain't a poser. I know everything there is to know about Silver. Go on. Impress me. Know what he told Carrie the last time they met. Fuck this band. Not your crowd. Not your noise. Do your own thing. Yeah, sure. I could think of a million conversations they had. There were no witnesses. I used to, uh, come here, back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scoff. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. You weren't even a twinkle in your daddy's Kuroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, prove it. How'd Samurai's third ever gig in? Johnny, my dear expert, help me chew him out. Give me a quick rundown of Samurai trivia. Yep, third gig. Remember it like it was yesterday. Set my axe on fire, then smashed it on the stage. Crowd went wild. Well... Can't wait all day. Easy. Johnny lit up his axe, 
and smashed it. Nope. Knew it. Who smashes their gear when they're just starting out? I mean, a new one costs eddies. Johnny, please, can you stop making my life harder? My life that's quickly running out. How am I supposed to give a witty response to that pathetic question? It's like kicking a puppy, a blind puppy. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed, wore a wig for a few weeks. Never did get herself any tech hat. Let me think. It was a fire. Remember those gonks you tried putting out with beer? <laughs> I almost forgot. Heard Johnny started it. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That cig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any troubles, Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan can know something like that. Hey, anyways, gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Come on, have at it. Appreciate it. Take it. Spread the good silver hand. You know they say. Time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. The guy's your biggest fan. You're not happy to meet him? Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there. Just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change. Them and the world. It's been 60 years. Something must have changed. You know what changed? The damn facade. Fresh interface plugs, new high fructose scop syrup, and fun fruity flavors. A new face of Arasaka, same old shit. Different package. Something's changed. I mean, we can't see it, but it's changed all the same. Sure. Now almost nobody remembers when a person wasn't just a meat bag full of secondhand implants. Thank <laughs> you. 